Okay guys, we're candling goose eggs today. I'm in my bathroom because I have too many lights on my little ducks and chicks, so I'll be right back with the eggs. Okay, sorry for that lag in time. I just, I didn't want to pull them out of the incubator until we were ready to go. All right, candling the goose eggs. This is actually day 11. I meant to do it yesterday, which was day 10. And the reason why I didn't do it yesterday was it was, I didn't realize it was Easter and we had an egg hunt and all kinds of stuff. And then um, I ended up getting these ducks, um, which I traded for some of my chicks. And so here we go. Actually, um, let's just start here. So basically, candling a goose egg on day 10 or 11 is going to be similar to candling a chicken egg on day 7 or 8. This one is definitely fertile. I can see veins. Now one thing that's different about goose eggs also is even though they're white, you'd think it'd be easier to see through. They are very thick shells. But you can see that there is a, uh, one side is kind of looks clear and the other side looks kind of dark. And if you look closely, you can see, uh, lightly see the veining. And you can see the air cell up on the top there. This is a fertile goose egg. And these, uh, some of these were put in the incubator. Um, you know, on the collection day, and some of them were held for up to 14 days. So, this is another fertile goose egg. Oh boy. You can see, um, we're looking at the clearer side, and you can see, look, it's already starting to look like it's just filled up all the way. And um, you'll see, like, a little bit of red right here. That's actually from my camera shining. I don't know what to do about that. Um... Maybe I could, well, well, I'm already doing this now, but maybe next time I can put a piece of tape or something over that red light. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Let's see if I can just block it with my thumb on the other hand. Here we go. Look, you can see that dividing line where on the bottom it looks clear, and on the top it looks like there's something in there. Well, that means there's something in there. And as I slowly turn it, it looks full. I'm still turning it. And here we're going to start to see it the other side. So you can see where the baby is, which would be on the underside. Three fertile goose eggs so far. This one is not fertile. It's clear. It's, it's just not a fertile egg. Nothing bad happened to it. Um, it's just not fertile. You can see right through it. The light just shines, passes right through. So we're going to take this one out. We're not going to put it back in. We're just going to take it out. It's, it's not going to turn into a little gosling, so we're going to take it out. And there you see the difference again where um, this one is fertile. And you can see on the bottom here, nothing over there. The baby's over here. The only difference between candling an egg, really, is uh, and um, compared to ultrasound on people, is that you know this uses light, ultrasound uses sound. But pretty much, we're just looking for these shadows to determine what's inside. And I want to be really careful when I pick them up and put them back down. And my hands are clean. They're nice and washed, too. So these are all important precautions that you should be taking when you candle your goose eggs. Um, I can see veining. I doubt that you can see it because I can only faintly see it. These eggs are white. And my brown chicken eggs are easier to see through. These are thick. I have gone out collect to collect goose eggs and before and dropped them on pavement and they did not break. They are so thick. 
I've also never had a goose egg that was shipped to me break in the mail. Whereas chicken eggs will break, so sometimes, if they're not packaged well. So this is another fertile egg. I can actually see it moving a little bit inside, but I, I doubt you saw that. It's very light at this point. At this stage in the game, you can see if it's uh, half full or not, but you can't really see much movement. Later on, you'll be able to see little feet press up against the shell and all that, little cute little webbed feet. Another fertile egg. Well, this is great. I'm getting so many fertile eggs. I wasn't sure because I hadn't seen any mating yet. This is a test run here. So far, pretty good for a test run. I, had, I started with nine eggs in there. And this is the last one. It's also fertile. Let me cover up this red spot again. It's fertile. It just basically looks like a half full egg or half empty for you pessimists out there. <laughs> I'm an optimist, so I'm going to say it's half full. And you can see the air cell again when you tilt it to the side. And there we go. Out of my nine eggs, I have eight fertile eggs. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and listening to me talk to you about candling goose eggs. I'm going to put these back in the incubator now, and hopefully in about 20 days we have little goslings. Bye-bye.